In this video, we're going to take a look at how do we determine the sample size that we need to get in order to estimate a mean. So here in this video, the idea is we want to try to come up with a confidence interval. However, we haven't even taken a sample yet, and we want to know how big of a sample are we going to need to take in order to come up with a confidence interval. And we want our confidence interval to have a certain margin of error. And so we can use that desired margin of error to determine the sample size, condu conduct uh, a sampling process uh, using that sample size, and then go through and get that confidence interval. All right, so in this process, we're just determining the sample size, though. All right, so we may determine ahead of, may determine ahead of time a desired margin of error. If that is known, we can decide how large the sample is should, uh, before we actually obtain it. Um, we can either use sigma, the population standard deviation, or some approximation for that population standard deviation. Our formula for this is right here. So we take this critical Z value, we multiply it by that uh, sample, uh, population standard deviation, and divide by the desired margin of error, and we square that. So uh, let's take a look at how we would do this in the stat disk. So in stat disk, we choose analysis. There's an option there for sample size determination, so we choose that. And we are trying to estimate a mean, and so we choose that. Uh, once we have done that, we need to input the confidence level. We input the margin of error, and we are going to input this real key thing here. We're inputting that margin of error as given. So when we did this with proportions, we had to rewrite that margin of error as a percent. We convert it to a decimal. Here, we input this means the margin of error for the mean as given. So if we're within 3, we put in the number 3. If we're within 13, we put in the number 13. We put that in as given. And then we estimate, uh, input our estimate for the population standard deviation. All right. So let's take a look at our example. So here we have a biologist is planning on collecting data to determine the mean length of great white sharks. Previous studies suggest that there is a standard deviation of 2.6 feet in the lengths of great white sharks. How many sharks, right, so that's our question, how many we're trying to determine a sample size. So that's the key word that I clue in on. How many do we need to measure in order to be 99% confident in order to be 99% confident that the sample mean length is within 0.05 feet. So that within 0.05 feet, that is the desired margin of error. All right, so we are trying to estimate a mean. We need to know how many. And we are given here the standard deviation, sigma, is going to be 2.6. We are given the confidence level is a 99%, 0.99. And we want to be within 0 0.05 feet, so our margin of error is 0 0.5. We don't need to change this to, we don't need to move decimals or anything. So that's the information we're going to go to StatDisk with. We're going to go to StatDisk and we are going to choose Analysis. We are trying to decide, determine a sample size, so we're going to way up here. Uh, go with sample size determination, and we want to try to estimate a mean. Our confidence level is a 99% confidence level. Our margin of error, we want to be within 
five feet. And we are guessing that it is 2.6 feet for the standard deviation. All right, so we can come back here. Let me double check that. Yeah, so 2.6 was our standard deviation, confidence level of 99%, and a margin of desired margin of error of 0 0.5. So we input all that information and we evaluate, and it spits back a number. So the required sample size is 180. All right, so perfect. So that's our answer. One. 180 sharks. So we need to get 180 sharks. Now you might say, that sample doesn't seem big enough. The way we determine this sample size is through some statistical methods. That sample size is big enough. Uh, so it is a large enough, so we need to take and throw away pre preconceived notions about what is big enough in a uh, sample size. 180, that's fine. Um, the number that you get, um, it will be big enough. Now, you could get a number that is unrealistically big, uh, but it will be big enough. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.